Welcome back to World Crisis Radio. This is Webster Tuff here in Washington, D.C. So I just went through my plan B for Greece. In other words, it's better to stay in the euro if you can under dignified and reasonable conditions. But if Merkel and Schäuble have really lost their minds and if Lagarde is really so insane, well, then uh, you can't control what they do. And therefore, you've got to prepare yourself for whatever happens. And that includes, of course, uh, seizing the central bank, issuing credit for production, barter deals, a debt moratorium, and the other things that I just said in the last uh, segment. So let's uh, let's proceed from that to our correspondent in Athens, Michael Chiotinas, and get an idea of what the mood is and what the uh, the state of the uh, the talks, so to speak, might be. Michael, welcome. Hello, Dr. Tartley. So, tell us. You were saying before uh, during yes. the break that there's a uh, a sense that the Greek people are fed up with the phonetications of uh, Merkel, Schäuble, and the IMF. Yes, of course. They they are um, any uh, anyone you, uh, anyone you talk to is saying uh, Tsipras should get get on a plane, come back, make a statement, and um, you know <laughs> push the button. Push the, push the destruct button. Anyway, uh, the thing is, in these negotiations, that we are trying to 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 salvage the euro itself. We're not to, we're not trying to save Greece. Greece may be better off with a national currency, but we are trying to put some sense into the into the European leadership. Uh, so we're not trying just to save Greece. We're trying to save Europe. That's my view. That's my view of what uh, Varoufakis is trying to do. Anyway, the thing is that this war is very much played in the le- at the level of appearances. And whoever controls the media in, in Europe shapes the image of reality. Uh, also the bureaucracy, the kind of incomprehensible maze that is the institutional structure of the European Union, is nothing but an obstacle when you try to come into honest negotiations. So every time the Greek government would come with a comprehensive proposal for true and substantive reforms, um, they heard time after time, you know, Greece has brought no proposals. We are still waiting for Greek proposals, etc. You have heard this. What they meant was because reality is shaped by us, your proposals are going to be called proposals whenever they they coincide with our proposals for you. Anyway, to make a long story short, given this pressure, the Greek government made more and more concessions in the sense of, of the procedures followed. And in the end, almost surrender uh, in the sense of accepting fiscal targets. Okay, So the Greeks said, OK, let us meet the fiscal targets that you think are right. We think that they're wrong because you failed to accept dynamic assessment. But hey, you have all the power to shape reality. So let's take that this scenario. So they put, the, the Greek side put together a proposal. It had some austerity, but mainly targeted towards the rich. Um, so they said, OK, we will accept the targets. They are recessionary, but along with debt restructuring and a big investment program, we will pass it through parliament and begin implementing it. Uh, well, that was Monday uh, when the EU summit on Greece accepted this plan that had eight billion uh, euros of new measures for 2015 and 2016, right? Okay, so these were things like 4G revenue for, from 4G licenses, telecommunications. This has to do with cell phone te- technology. Right. Harsh taxation of on gambling and online gambling, in other words, parasitic activities. Tax hikes on high income brackets. Uh, personal income instead of VAT and uh, these kind of taxes. Tax hikes on corporate income tax. It has to do with businesses from half a million of annual turnover and upwards. Uh, and increase in the employer's contribution for pension funds instead of pension cuts. So it, it was all the, in the way of uh, revenue instead of cuts. So there were reactions from certain Syriza MPs, cheaper um, took the first round of humiliation in the eyes of the, Greek popula- uh, the, of the Greek population. Well, he's signing another memorandum, more austerity, 
uh, this kind, blah, 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 legitimate criticism, let me tell you, but they failed, of course, to mention that without a deal for debt restructuring and investment, there were going to be no deal at all. But anyway, uh, the next day, the IMF comes in and says, what, this, proposal's, uh, this proposal is, is recessionary? Well, th- thanks, Captain, five years now. <laughs> and, and eight billion in measures are not enough. We need 11 billion in measures. And not by increasing revenue, but by cutting, pe- by cutting pensions. Um, they, gave the, they gave out their own plan, which included, it, it, this is very important, no government revenue from telecommunication licenses. Let me note here that Greek telecommunications are controlled by Deutsche Telekom. Uh, no tax on gambling, so no taxing on parasitic activity. Uh, inhumane VAT taxes, value-added tax, in other words, regressive taxation on electricity, uh, food, this kind of stuff, price controls on medicine in such a way that will destroy Greek local pharmaceutical industry. Uh, in other words, in, um, the, the, uh, making German pharmaceutical uh, succeed. Um, right. VAT hikes on hotels, which will undermine the Greek tourist industry. So what is revealed And how about the islands, right, that you can't go to Mykonos and have your your vacation? Yeah, yeah. So what is revealed here is that they are not interested in fiscal targets. They want to destroy every competitive advantage of the Greek economy, every chance Greece has at recovery, impose political domination, set the basis for further conditionalities forever, make Greece an absolute colony, and sweatshop to bring their, I don't know, their, their factories from China over here. But it's also, a, it's a class-based uh, approach, right? It says, you know, the, 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 the crisis is going to be paid for by working people, not rich yes. oligarchs. Yes. But there may also be another dimension, a political dimension. Uh, maybe they want to propose measures that are so outrageous that simply by seeing Tsipras, hearing them, and not abandoning the negotiating table in a furious state, just that, this image, that with this image they will humiliate Tsipras as much as possible and force the left platform of Syriza, its inner party left-wing opposition, to revolt in absolute indignation. Couple that with the fact that the leader of this party, Topotami, you remember Topotami, we heard uh, that he was at, he went to he went to Brussels along with uh, with Samaras to uh, yes. meddle. So this guy Theodorakis was at the same time in Brussels supporting the IMF positions and saying that he's ready to back the Greek government so it can vote any kind of deal to save the country from bankruptcy. All this rhetoric. Also, he attended the dinner party with people like prime ministers of Finland, the Netherlands, Belgium. Uh, these people. The austerity the plan, ghouls and oligarchs. Yeah. The, the plan, I think the plan is fairly obvious. Break up Syriza by making the left platform MPs revolt and then put together a government uh, with what is left of Syriza, followed by Tsipras, um, led by Tsipras, um, plus Topotami, Pasok, the old socialists, and perhaps the conservatives. Uh, so there you have it. This is an attempt... I think, uh, at a forced re- regime change by breaking up Syriza. Of course, this was averted because they underestimate the power of a party with democratic processes in the, on the inside, you know, democratic discussions and decisions obeyed by all. Um, so this kind of a coup d'etat I, it's, it's, the, it's the oligarchy's wet dream in an obvious way. It's quite clear. It's, it's transparent, if you like. Uh, to a significant part of the Greek people. Uh, let me tell you, and I will close with that, that in the past few days, the corrupt mass media are more friendly towards Tsipras himself, but <laughs> not Syriza. So okay. they're trying to make this happen. Thank you, Michael. That's a great rundown. We'll see you next week, and uh, let's see what we do with this uh, program on uh, Plan B. 